Hello everybody out there in YouTube land and welcome to DC Fans United. So if I didn't have problems with copyright issues, this is where I'd put a clip, you know, where Lex Luthor and Batman v Superman is giving his speech and it's fight night, good versus evil and all that stuff. Well, instead of that, you're just going to have me talking. But um, one thing though, it is definitely going to be fight night or as the CW puts it, all rage, no cage. So they actually made a promo poster for it and this is going to be on TV tonight on the CW. King Shark and Gorilla Grodd are coming back and they're going to be fighting each other in the streets. So that should be pretty entertaining. You know, I've actually haven't, you know, I haven't watched The Flash in a while, but I'm thinking I'm actually going to check this episode out just because it sounds pretty crazy. And really, I liked these characters when they were in, I think, season two. And apparently they showed up more recently as well. But when I liked I liked The Flash better when it was kind of the first couple seasons and it was a villain of the week thing and they weren't always speedsters. I think it's more interesting when The Flash has to contend with someone who isn't a speedster. So it looks like this ought to be a really great episode and they've got, yeah, Grodd and King Shark. I don't know what the deal is with King Shark if he can block mental attacks or what because as we see in the poster they're clearly fighting hand to hand and you know Gorilla Grodd's no slouch at fighting hand to hand but it seems like he would just you know attack him mentally uh, he could even just straight up take control of King Shark I would think but who knows maybe because he's a shark his brain is uh, set up in such a way that he can't do that they may have even explained that in prior episodes I don't know but it, it'll be interesting to see but looking at the poster itself there's a few things about it that kind of stood out to me uh, first of all i mean it is a pretty cool poster um you know it was good enough to get me interested in watching the episode but gorilla grod himself is kind of small don't you think he doesn't look very big at all um i mean he looks smaller than a real like a real life gorilla if you think about it if that's a regular police car that he's standing on he, he is smashing you know he's cracking the windshield but i don't know maybe, it, maybe it's just the scaling or the proportions are off a little bit but it seems like he should be a lot bigger that's like you know he's four maybe four feet tall <laughs> you know he should just be crushing that police car i would think and then king shark yeah he's pretty big he, he looks pretty pretty much about the right size. One thing with him though that always is kind of funny to me is unlike Grodd he is wearing pants for some reason so that always makes me think of the street sharks. I don't know if you remember those it was like a cartoon and they had toys and stuff in the 90s but I, I, I really wonder what came first King Shark or the street sharks because sometimes I wonder if King Shark isn't like a ripoff of the street sharks. He looks literally he's literally a street shark like look at him he he looks like a street shark he's even wearing the pants with the belt and that's i think that's what's funniest to me is he has a belt so it's like his so his pants don't fall down and i don't know he must not have uh dorsal or tail fins or whatever i don't know i'm overthinking it but i'm definitely going to check out the episode i think it sounds fun you know uh it, honestly this is the kind of thing like comic book shows should do just like fun uh all rage no cage as they put it and they'll let the villains brawl in the street and i'm i'm assuming barry you know the flash will show up at some point and try and clean up the mess and keep them from being too out of control so i'm thinking too i mean they're characters i liked on the show so i'm thinking they're kind of bringing back the fan favorites to maybe getting back to their roots so to speak so I, I i think it's a good step one thing too that i actually forgot about and i think a lot of people might not be aware of and cw should really advertise this really dc should advertise this but you can watch these shows for free either with the cw app which you can get on your phone or you can watch them online so i'll include a link to the well it's cwtv.com slash shows but i'll include a link to it in the description box as well as i recall the way it works is you can watch the newest episode of any of their shows so it's not like you can go back and watch every single episode although they might do specials and stuff but you know they want to sell their blu-rays and dvds so i don't think everything's on there but as far as watching new episodes it's really a good way to keep up with it and if you think about it it makes sense the cw is free broadcast tv so it makes sense they'd put the episodes up at least while they're broadcasting live and if i remember right it's like you can watch the newest episode of the show for that week 
at any time. So they definitely have the Flash and Supergirl and Arrow and Black Lightning and Riverdale and all of, all of their comic book shows, I think, are on there. So it's worth checking out, really. Um, I used to watch some of their shows on online. It's a pretty good service. I believe there's a commercial or two here and there, but compared to watching it on TV, it's, it's actually a lot better. So one person, too, just offhand commented on the poster, and I thought it was really funny. So what this guy said is, should I take a shot every time Barry gets knocked down? So I thought that was pretty funny, you know. Uh, yeah, with King Shark and Gorilla Grodd both fighting, I think Barry might get knocked down quite a bit. So the person uh, replied and recommended not doing it because... I'm assuming it's a she because the name is the future is female said we might die of alcohol poisoning and uh, the guy said this is true oh that's interesting i didn't think about it i wonder if they know each other because the future is female said we but in any case i'm getting off off topic anyways looks like a good show it's gonna be on tonight you can watch it for free so if you've got nothing else to do you may as well check it out see who wins really i would think gorilla grad has the advantage he has more powers than just a street shark you would think like if, if you've seen public enemies you know batman superman public enemies gorilla grad has got like multiple super villains and i think heroes under his control at one time so in any case i think gorilla grad could beat a street shark but we'll have to find out i'm, I'm assuming ultimately the flash will win and be the one to save the day but that's all for now thanks for watching i really appreciate it be sure to hit the bell for notifications uh feel free to check me out on patreon i have exclusive content and as always be sure to subscribe if you haven't and as always thank you for watching and being a part of dc fans united End of line.